Now then, afternoon, right? Favorite time cooking. I got a beauty today because um, we're so so poor and destitute. Me and Calvin been uh, foraging, and uh, this time of year we go for the lovely crayfish. Um, my favorite. Uh, found in basically most streams around here. Uh, streams, becks, little lakes, ponds. You, you need permission really of the the owners or if it's a farm field. Um, and it's class with the kids catching them. And all you need really is a small cheap fishing rod. Um, I'm looking over there because I'm watching him because he's looking at me. Uh, there he is there, look at He's looking at me. Um, it'd be even just some fishing wire, really, some fishing line, a net. Uh, just wrap a bit of bacon, whack it in your pond, in, in the pond, in the, in, the, in the stream, where it's nice and deep. Have a little net ready, little suckers, grab hold of it, slowly pull it up, get the net underneath, and uh, there you got it. Uh, you need a license if you've got nets. If you're trapping them in a trap, you need license, but with a normal little fishing net and a bit of string or a bit of uh, fishing wire. You don't, so you can catch as many as you want, and they make fantastic soups. Uh, Freshwater king prawns, really. Um, and they're all over. They're absolutely running wild. They're actually destroying our rivers, to be fair. Our ecosystem is absolutely totally uh, trash with these little buggers. They eat all the, the fish eggs. They destroy the banks. They make the burrows destroy the banks. Uh, and the horrible little things. And um, they want rid of them. You just have to make sure we've got our, our own crayfish, which is against the law to even get. Uh, but these little buggers, uh, they weren't totally uh, eradicating. So every year, me and Callum go out and we catch a load for soup, uh, sautéing garlic, a bit like king prawns really. Uh, but I'm going to show you today um, a simple soup with these little buggers. I'll show you what they look like. There's one. They've been purging. I put them in some cold water and keep rinsing out all the time. Get all the, the muck and the crap. But they're usually feistier than this. They've been... I mean, he's starting to, and the vicious little buggers, and they can got a nasty nip, but uh, they've got a signal because of the claws. They're actually red. Look, they're actually red underneath. So yeah, and we put a pan of, pan of boiling water on, same as lobsters, pan of boiling water, some salt in, and uh, we boil them for about five, six minutes. Um, but first we have to promote the misery for those little animal people like pet animals and that kind of stuff, animal activists, I have to make sure it is killed correctly. Um and we'll go from there guys. Alright, I'll get the pan of water ready. I know it's a sore subject, but uh these have to be killed these have to be killed humanely, uh, as all animals do. This is a human way, I don't know. Um but I want to show you how to, to do it. Look away now. If you don't like this kind of stuff, do look away now. But I want to show you how to do it. Again, nice sharp knife you've got there. These are like lobsters on the top of there. You see right on the top of the head there, the little marking, top of the head. You get the knife and all you do is straight down. Straight down. And I kill them. Dead. Straight away. I know it's moving, but that's just, that's just his nerves. Done, dead. Right, and I killed them all straight away. Um, and as I do it with each one of them, again, go straight through, down. That kills them. And I do like each one of them before I put the pot. You see, you can put them in the freezer, and that pot sends, sends them to sleep. Um, I prefer the quick way. Uh, so he's ready to go straight in. Um, after that, I show you. Uh, a good way of getting removing the they're like prawns. I've got a, a, what you call a, a sack, and it shows you how to get rid of all the muck in that sack. I'll show you a nice easy way rather than peeling it and doing it. I show you an easy way uh, while they're still whole. So I'll go through and do all these ones, and I'll come back to you. Right, now they're asleep, dead. You can see the tail there. That little middle one, that middle one there, right in the middle. All you do with that one, you get all your finger and thumb, wiggle side to side. Side to side, just gently, don't do too hard, and just pull. Hear that? I pull, and you see, look, that comes out. That's its poo sack, that's its shit, shit pipe. So that's that, that's one done. 
again, another one, again, look at the middle one, that middle one, grab hold of it, just wiggle side to side, wiggle side to side, give it a pull, and that pulls its breakfast out. So again, I'll show you one more, and then I'll cut the camera off, go from there. Again, at the middle, pick the middle one, wiggle side to side, pull, and there's all its shite. Again, alright? So, yeah, just sort that out. Yeah, it's a boiling water, bring it to the boil, give it roughly five minutes, and then straight into some ice water, fill that with cold water. So, yeah, that's basically that's it, that's the first stage. Um, getting our crayfish all cooked off and certain ice water. And there we have all the ice water, cools them straight down, five minutes of boiling, done. And all I do now in the cool down is separate to the tail off. I can't really show you too much, I only have one hand and like two hands, but all the others like baby lobsters now. If you get a good, a good, uh, Claw it there, will have plenty of eating. There's your little lobster. It's the tail bit we want. So we just snapped it off. And that's what we want. A little tail meat. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll take that off for the soup. The shells will keep the soup. Um, then we'll cool down first. So then we'll separate the bodies from the tails. As you can see, they're all. Uh, they're all separated. Got shells, and we've got the tails. And do the tails. All you need to do, see them there. You just squeeze, squeeze together, and then split them open. And you have the tastiest, for me, tastiest freshwater prawn. Absolutely beautiful. We we'll use that for the soup. So you put it there again. Just squeeze, and then pull apart. It's gentle. We'll keep the shells again for the soup. It's stuck for the soup. And then we've got meat. Again, crush, open up, and you have tail. Beautiful. We'll keep that. So I'm just going to crack up with them. Me and the kids have been out again to find some more. Just look. At the size of them, the size of them, that's huge, absolutely huge. That's the range of the size of it. Oh, there's a bee. That's all. I tell you what, they're vicious as hell. Look. They really are, they're very, very, uh, the attack. Um, again, these have been washed and purged, so they're a bit on the docile side of the one, but I tell you what, they can nip. Look at the size of them, like a mini lobster in here. Right, again, boil them water, get them all sorted, get them killed. Alright, so, now we're back in there, we'll cut and wash them. We've got our fantastic catch yesterday and today, we're ready to make some soup. Right, firstly I've got some left in tails. Um, I'm going to saute in garlic and have them for me lunch. Uh, I'll show you how to do them. I've got some peeled, they're all diced up and going into the soup last thing. And I've got all the shells there, all the empty shells are full of, full of goodness. Still got some meat in like some of them claws, them claws will break down. And basically it's just a quick mirepoix, so really what I'm doing is a quick stock. Um, that's all I'm gonna do. I can make like, like, a, like a lobster bisque stock. That's all I'm gonna do. So, um, firstly, you've got obviously you've got a big pan. So I've got some. Again, whatever veg you've got, I've got some celery. Your fennel works fine. I've got some garlic. Again, that's all in skins. Onion chopped up. Carrot. I've got a spoon, tablespoon roughly of tomato puree. If not, chop a couple of tomatoes in there. A couple of whole tomatoes in there, a cherry tomatoes. A bit of chilli, give it a bit of a kick. You've got a whole chilli, great. I've just got a couple of chilli seeds. 
Let's give it a bit of a kick and some salt and pepper and all the shells. So I'll just whack all them shells in now. So there we have that on the pan there. It's going to bring to the boil and let that simmer for about a good 45 minutes, 40 45 minutes, matter. There you got our goodness out and um, we'll go there. Right quickly, I'll show the saute ones I'm going to do with these for my tea. Just like normal king prawns, you get a pan nice and hot, whack in some butter. Always got to get a bit of Nice little pan is there, quite ready. Put in a bit of olive oil, I'm going to whack these ingredients now. We've got garlic, I've got some onion dice and some parsley. Right, all in together. Like I said, you're not cooking them, basically now we're warming them up. So, nice flavours in there, some onion, garlic, parsley and a touch of salt and pepper. And there we have, all done. Yep, yeah. done. Pan fried crayfish tails and garlic. Stock is all done. That's about an hour and 15 minutes. I left it on for while I sat in the sun. So all that's drained off and it goes into there. So that's all my uh, crayfish stock now. Let that cool down, put it in the bin, get rid, and we'll keep this stuff and we will build the soup from it. Now we're going to start build the soup. So in there, I've got some butter. I've got some par boiled potatoes I had left over from my, the tea I'm making. So I had some par boiled potatoes. Normal small diced potatoes will do. Here I've got some onions, some celery. Don't forget to wash your celery. Some cherry tomatoes and a bit of garlic. So I'm going to put a bit of each in there. So first, I want a good teaspoon, tablespoon of garlic. Handful cherry tomatoes, normal tomatoes will do, chopped tomatoes the tin will do. I've got a few of these and the the lovely in the supermarket at the moment. And again, just all my little diced veg. Yeah, all in. And just a dash. If we've got a fresh chilli, great. If not, I just put a touch of chilli flakes. Just give it a bit of a kick, that's all. And that's it. So we just Slowly sweat that off, don't colour. Right, that's starting to cook down now, it's starting to sweat nicely. What we do now is a touch of flour, good, that's it, two good tablespoons. Again, that makes like a roux, if it turns down slightly, that makes a roux, soaks all that butter and oil up, and that'll help thicken it. Good stir around. And here, got the stock. What I'm going to do is add some milk, half usually a quarter, quarter milk. We're going to add cream later on anyway. And then we slowly add a bit to that. So I'll try to do this one handy again. Choose a cup. A bit of cup of tea. Just put a couple in there. Yeah, a bit more. What I'm going to do. You just give it a whisk there. The mix will go thick. Just don't burn it on the bottom, keep it nice and low. Once that's in, just add a bit more. Just gradually keep adding it and keep stirring it. It's all incorporated. Right, once it's all incorporated, I just want to put a tablespoon of tomato puree. A tablespoon should be enough. You know, let's put more tomatoes in. I haven't got many cherry tomatoes anyway, so just a bit of tomato puree. Bring that to the boil and we'll give it a blitz. And then take it off, get a good blitz. It's nice and smooth. And all you do is I put in half a tub of double cream. You can put the full lot if you want, you want nice and creamy, I put half in, taste it for now. It's a rich, creamy orange colour. And they're all done. All we have to do now is just dip with salt and pepper. In the end, they just need a little bit more pepper. Salt was okay. 
what I've done, I just shot the other half of the cream in, why not? Nice and rich. And the meat, which I saved, if you remember, only done half of them. I've just chopped the rest of the tails up. And I'll just whack that in now. And that'll... Oh, all done. Stare in there. And then divide it out to who's... The lucky people are going to have it. It absolutely tastes superb. Like a lobster bisque. It's a crayfish. It tastes absolutely unreal. Very earthy, creamy, rich, everything. Beautiful. Okay, all right, thanks for watching. Hi guys, if you enjoyed the videos and like what you're seeing, um, do me a favour, see that YouTube button down there, that subscribe button, just give it a, just give it a press, because the more subscriptions I get, the more I can do, the more I can keep helping you, I enjoy doing these, so hit the like button, one of that one, just give it a click, and hit that one there, and let's keep cooking, and let's stay safe, okay, rock on.